just really impressed by what Hope Haven is going to be and what they've done so far. There's always something going on here. I am Melissa, I'm from Texas, and I'm here because God sent me here. I'm actually a missionary, so here specifically with Raise Me Up and Hope Haven, I am the counselor and then I'm the supervisor at the literacy program for New Horizon, and then I help out with the food bank and um, Sagebrush Church and anywhere I can serve. This is what our mission is, to provide like a safe place for the children that are um, being abused and neglected and, and still living at home. I mean, with the shelter upstairs, they're going to have a safe place to stay even if it is overnight before they take them to Belize City. We will encourage um, more families to speak up and, and whenever they know that something's going on, knowing that there's a safe place right here on the island, um, hopefully we'll be able to reach more of the children that are being abused and neglected every single night and, and know that they have a safe place to stay. It is fully funded. There's no government um, assistance with the funds. It is funded through our supporters back in the state, supporters here, because it is a Belizean nonprofit. Um, but it's it's all volunteers and support from the community. I was in here, and the girls were in here, and they were wearing short dresses, and they were um, attending to other male customers in a bar area. And this is a stripper pool, and it had like wooden chairs that are not even complete, and like a little deck where they could have their little dance here. Brittany Travis decided to buy the pool from the owner that was previously here, and she turned the pool into a lay pool. That is our favorite part of this building. We have shine dances on Wednesdays and Friday mornings with little four to five year olds that come in every morning to dance. So we turned something so bad and made it to a beautiful thing. We are always looking for volunteers to come in and help out. We have endless opportunities and people who may not want to work with children um, can help with serving in Colleen's Kitchen. People, I mean, there's a place for every single person that even may have like a little speck of a servant's heart. There's opportunities to get involved. I'm really excited for you guys.